So what's a guy like me doing in a fancy restaurant like this? To tell the truth, I'm not really sure myself. Hey, I interest her. It's okay, I'm meeting someone. <sighs> Normally, I wouldn't be seen dead in this kind of place or in this kind of gear. But last week, my whole life turned upside down and I'm still trying to figure out what it all means. In case you missed my status update, I am no longer plain old Ben Hazelton. Now, I'm Baron Benjamin von Hasenberg. Yep, you heard right. I'm a fully-fledged member of the German aristocracy. And I have my own castle to boot. I've got to admit, it was a bit of a shock at first. But now I'm starting to get the hang of it, and to be honest, I think I might even get to like it. Good morning, Baron Benjamin, sir. Ha ha, nice one, Sophie. Please, Baron, sir, I mean no offence. I'm but a poor serving girl who only wishes to please. You keep this up and I'll send you to the dungeons. Nothing but bread, water and reality TV shows for a whole week. <laughs> Seriously, though, have you thought about how all this would change your life? Because it will. <laughs> Come on, Sophie, I'll still be the same old Ben. More or less. I hope so. Mind you, I can't wait to see how this whole Baron thing plays out back in Australia. I mean, being a royal at Clearwater High has got to be a gobsmack of the First Order, right? Celebrity aristocrat. <laughs> no biggie. Okay, so I happen to have a title and a castle, but deep down, I'm just an ordinary guy doing ordinary things. And right now, I'm late for class, like any ordinary guy. So I'll have to run. Thanks for your time, Baron. Oh, hi, Lily. What's happening? You're late for your first meeting. We've all been waiting for you. What meeting? Your briefing meeting, of course, as the new owner of the castle. We're already behind schedule, so let's talk as we want. I'll be running through your administrative duties. I'll take you through your social engagement. And I'll brief you on the castle accounts and computer system. Any questions? Uh, well, I... I'm good. As the new baron, you'll be responsible for hiring castle staff, overseeing maintenance, doing the payroll, and of course, paying castle taxes. Taxes? Uh, that's right, uh, so you'll have to brush up on tax law too. I, well, you'll also need to attend all the village social events. I've already accepted several invitations on your behalf. You have? This week there's the Pokeball at the Old Age Home, the annual Sauerkraut Festival, and you'll be officiating at a grand opening. Grand opening of what? The new town square toilet blocks. <laughs> Can't wait. One more thing. Daddy's too proud to ask, but I must. What's going to happen to us? Us? Yes, us, Daddy and me. Well, how do you mean? You own the castle now, so we don't really fit in anymore. Should we pack our bags? That's crazy. Can't we just leave things the way they are? How? You're head of the family now. That changes everything. If we stay, what should we do? Would you give us jobs or what? Um, look, Louis, this is all a bit much for me to take on board right now. Just let me think about it, OK? Sure, but don't think too long. If we're going, we'd prefer to know sooner rather than later. Are you guys all organised? Oh, yeah, I'm already packed. I can't believe we fly out tomorrow. Okay. How about you, Jack? Oh, I haven't started packing yet, but I'm only taking one small bag, so it's right. What about your guitar? Yeah, what, that too. You do know the departure time, don't you? Yeah, of course. So what is it? Seven-ish. 5.30. That was my next guess. Hopeless. See you, Sam. <laughs> Bye. I'm so excited about the song competition finals, but I'm also a little bit sad because that means it's nearly time to head back to Australia. I'm really going to miss this place and one person in particular. Anyway, you'll have to excuse me. We don't have a lot of time left. You have got to believe in you. You have got to believe in you. You have got to. What's up? This Baron thing's about as much fun as a funeral. At least I won't have to put up with it once we're back in Australia. What makes you think that? It's obvious. I won't have to do boring things like running the castle and dealing with tax problems. Ben, 
You're head of the family now. You've got responsibilities. Hasn't Lily shown you your schedule? <laughs> yeah, but that's just till I go home, right? You don't get it, do you? Don't get what? This is also your home now. You've got a truckload of sorting out to do here before you can even think about going back to Australia. No one said anything about staying here permanently. Well, maybe not permanently, but you will have to spend a lot of time here. It comes with the territory. Check it with Lily if you don't believe me. Of course you'll have to live here. The castle's the Baron's ancestral home. All your duties are here. You mean I can never go back to Australia? Don't be silly. No one's holding you a prisoner. You can go back anytime you want. Phew. For holidays, as long as you keep them short. Holidays? That's easy. Being the Baron is a full-time job. Trust me, you'll be so busy, you'll forget you ever had another life on the other side of the world. Recently voted the most boring man in Germany, he wonders. And this is your bedtime reading. Twelve centuries of von Hasenburg plumbing alteration. Perfect. Hi, Ben. Want to go down to the river for a picnic? Oh, Sophie, I'd love to. The Baron can't go on picnics! Why not? Because you're far too busy attending boring events. And doing boring duties. And meeting boring people for, for the, the rest, rest of, of your life. life! Sophie, wait, I'm coming with you! Oh. But I don't want to be the Baron anymore! This isn't gonna work. I'm not cut out to be the Baron. But what can I do? If I resign, Herman will take over. And I can't do that to Lily and Philip. Can I? Well done, everybody. Okay, now listen up. Uh, as you know, the final part of the assessment is a live performance in front of the whole class. So any groups who haven't performed yet need to schedule a time for next week. But, Mr Brilli, we're not going to be here next week. We can do it later, can't we? Lucy, next week is the end of the assessment period. But we're going to Germany for ten days. Jack told you, didn't he? Germany? <laughs> That's the first I've heard of it. When was this organised? <laughs> you forgot to tell him? Actually, you know what, now that you've mentioned it, 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 did, it did slip my mind. Sort of. Uh, just... What? We're gonna fail music? All because someone forgot to tell Mr. Brealy we're going to Germany. <laughs> Can't we just do the performance when we get back? It'll be too late. All the assessments have to be in before then. So if we don't perform... We won't have enough marks to pass the unit. Simple as that. I don't believe this. How can we fail music after all our hard work? Our flight just got delayed. By three hours. Oh, no. Sam, did you hear that? This is unbelievable. You guys are jinxed when it comes to planes. <laughs> Tell me about it. If it gets delayed anymore, you won't make it here in time. Ben! Ben! It's Herman. So, put him through to the Baron. You are the Baron, and it's you he wants to speak to. Hello? Where's Ben off to? A meeting in town. What meeting? There was nothing on the schedule. Who's it with? Uh, Herman, actually. Yeah. Herman? Why would Herman want to meet with Ben? You can be sure it's not to talk about the weather. I have a bad feeling about this. Me too. So here I am, feeling like a prized doofus at this Swish restaurant. Herman obviously wants to do some kind of deal, but I'm not sure what yet. I hope he gets on with it, though, because this collar's killing me. So, when's to your liking, Ben? Oh, yeah, pretty good, thanks. Good. Glad to see you're a meat eater. <laughs> Too many namby-pamby vegetarians around these days. No wonder the country's going backwards. Uh, you said you wanted to discuss something. Can I ask? Of course. Down to business, eh? <laughs> I like a man who gets on with things. So, how are you enjoying being head of the family? Uh, it's okay. Yeah, uh, not too bad. Ben, you can be honest with me. After all, we are family. How is it? 
Really? It's not quite what I imagined. But I'm surviving <laughs> so far. But you won't survive for long, will you? Let's be honest with each other. You've got your whole life ahead of you. Do you really want to spend the tide down to this gray, cold castle? Being barren promises nothing more than endless village fates, hours of boring paperwork, and the constant worry about how to pay for the castle's upkeep. Is that the life you really want? I can change all that for you. And in return, I can make you rich. Very rich. Herman, you know I can't possibly... No, 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 no. just hear me out. Think about it. You'll be able to go back to Australia tomorrow, wealthy beyond your dreams. And I'll even sponsor your little friend, Sophie, so she can study over there with you. You do that? Of course. And I suppose that in return, you want the castle, right? <laughs> oh, ben, there's nothing for nothing in this life. What matters is getting a good deal for both sides. Uh, sorry, I can't. Lily and Philip would hate me forever. Nonsense. I'll take care of them as well. They'll be set for life, just as you will be. Really? I guarantee it. This is a chance of lifetime. And no one loses. It's a win-win-win situation. It's all in here. Read it, and you'll see I'm a man of my word. There's nothing tricky about it. The bottom line is, this is a golden opportunity, and you'll never get another one like it. Ever. Now, dessert? The more I thought about it, the better it got. This is definitely the perfect solution to everyone's problems. I can't wait to tell Sophie. You really offered all that? Yeah, and he'll pay for you to come to Australia and study. I mean, the guy's thought of everything. Oh, I wish I could have been there. Yeah, the food was incredible. I mean, to see the look on his face when you said no. How come you're so sure I said no? Because that's one of the things I've always liked about you, Ben. You're not a guy who can be bought. I'm not? If you were, I wouldn't have been interested in you for a second. Oh, right. So, what do you think? Wow. That's an offer. Are you gonna accept? I don't know. Being the Baron doesn't really suit you, does it? You've got that right. But I don't have much choice, do I? What will you do? What I always do when I've got a serious problem. What's that? Ignore it till it goes away. What I didn't know was that Marcus also did what he always does when he's got a serious problem, which is to stay up all night working on it. Plane. We have to go straight to the studio. Sorry, we have to. But listen, I've got an idea of how we can perform live for the music class. It's not possible, Sam. Yes, it is. We just have to get everyone to watch us playing at the finals over the internet. Yeah, we thought of that. The, the timing doesn't match up. It's morning here, but in Australia it's night. School's already over. I know, but I think I found a way around that problem. I found a way around this problem. This can't be happening. How long till we're supposed to be on stage? Less than an hour. So if this jam doesn't clear up in a hurry... We're, we're gonna miss the whole competition. Ben, you look terrible. Did you sleep badly? Yeah, <laughs> didn't sleep at all. But I think I found the solution to your dilemma. Oh, you did? What is it? I don't quite know how to put this, but... How would you feel about becoming a father? We were in the biggest traffic jam. We tried to call, but we couldn't get through. You are? Oh, we were in Nasenberg, but we'd like to change our name for the final. Sorry, you can't change your name during the competition. It will confuse the voters. Oh, but... And you're late. You were meant to be on stage 15 minutes ago. So that's it? We can't compete? But, uh, we've come all the way from Australia. Isn't there anything you can do? 
I'll talk to the producer. We can't have blown it. Not after everything we've done to get here. Can't they just change the order or something? She's going to change the order, <sighs> which means you guys go on last. Right. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. No problem. Follow me. You guys go ahead. I have to make a quick call. Yeah. Sam, what's happening? Shouldn't you be on by now? Yeah, a slight hiccup. Hey, did many of our classmates show up? Pretty much everyone. Your text message must have been very persuasive. Oh, I've got to go. Thanks so much for this, Mr. Brealey. No worries. Just slam, hey? Good luck. <laughs> What's this about, Marcus? Last night, I came across this ancient law from the 16th century. What's a 500-year-old law got to do with us? Everything. It says that if a member of the nobility moves to the unknown world, he is allowed to adopt an adult in order to transfer property. Isn't this brilliant? I'm lost. Frankly, so am I. It's simple. The unknown world includes Australia. Australia is unknown? This is from the 16th century, remember? Anyway, if Ben moves there, he can adopt Philip as his son and transfer the castle to him. But that's ridiculous. Insane. Can't seriously mean that Ben would be my father. This is exactly what I mean. Don't you see? This way, Ben can go back to Australia, you can go back to owning the castle, and everything will be just like it was before. You really think that would work? It's completely legal. But it all depends on Ben. What do you think? Right now, he can't think, at least for a bit. Otherwise, we're gonna miss Sam in the song competition. And now for our last band. All the way from Australia, it's Nasenborg. <laughs> And now, for the announcement you have all been waiting for, our competition winners. Can I have the results, please? Okay, in third place is Adrenaline. <laughs> Next, we have a tie, so there are two bands in second place. The Cupcakes. Yes. Yes. Did you just say us? Yes! <laughs> Nazenborg? Thank you. <laughs> In case you're wondering who's getting married, it's not me. It didn't take much thinking to realize there was only one choice I could make. So here we all are, and I'm about to become the proud father of a 44-year-old man. There seems to be a mix-up here. According to this, Benjamin is adopting Philip. 
which is clearly absurd. No, actually, that's correct. It's perfectly legal. Um, here is the court order authorizing it. So, can we get on with this, please? And I thought my family was weird. I won't bore you with all the details. Suffice to say that after a lot of legal mumbo jumbo, it was done. Now, I pronounce you father and son. Ben, you're a true Van Hausenburg. Thanks so much for doing this, Ben. No worries. Just the kind of guy I am. So here we are back in Australia. Four months older and maybe even four months wiser. Although, don't push me on that. And in the end, I have to say everything worked out one way or another. For a start, Lucy, Jack and I somehow managed to pass music, which after all the dramas we went through, has to count as one of the major miracles of musical history. Saying goodbye to Marcus wasn't easy, and I still miss him. But I'm really looking forward to a reunion soon. Maybe even next summer. Lily and Prince Carl Christoph finally did get to go to a ball together and were by far the most dazzling couple on the dance floor. Most of the time. Philip and Lily ultimately solved the castle's financial problems by turning it into a music school, which of course was all Marcus's idea. And on weekends, they host kids' parties and the biggest kid of all seems to be Philip himself. And what about Baron Benjamin? <laughs> to tell the truth, it didn't take long for him to come back down to Earth as plain, ordinary Ben. Oh, but he did assist in the development of German-Australian relations by persuading our parents to host an exchange student for a year. Guess who? I could say that Sophie's presence helped Ben broaden his educational and cultural horizons. Then again, would anyone really believe me? Ben and I do get to keep our titles, by the way. Yours truly is officially Baroness Samantha Genevieve von Hassenberg. So if you see me down at the beach sometime, feel free to bow or curtsy. I promise I won't laugh if you don't. <laughs> <laughs>